Hi folks, this is the start of some new videos uh, for the Rick Rice One channel uh, featuring uh, CS5, Illustrator CS5, and I have long wanted to uh, do an updated version of the gradient uh, tool here in Illustrator um, since I guess CS4. It has uh, uh, radically changed and um, is a very powerful and uh, amazing uh, tool in my opinion. So let's get started uh, and uh, the first thing I want to do is um, I've got on my screen here a couple of the panels as uh, they call them and the swatches and the gradient uh, panels and as always um, I've purposely gotten rid of all of the um, additional panels and things that I really don't need. And of course, my tools. Um, if these panels are not available over here on the sidebar where we've got our little icons of, of panel groups, of course, they're always available here under Window. And um, again, swatches and the gradient. I really don't think we need anything else. So um, the next thing I want to do is just uh, with the basic uh, rectangle uh, tool, um, I'm just going to make a shape and put that so we have something to work with and we can see exactly what we're doing here. And um, uh, looking over at the swatches panel, uh, the uh, basic um, swatches down here at the very bottom, it's important that you know how to navigate here. Um, and uh, down here at the, the bottom, I can say show all of the various swatches, just the solid colors or the gradients, see all of the swatches. It's kind of busy, and so I purposely um, simplified it again, and I went here and I said just show me the existing gradient swatches. And uh, the reason I did this is because it sometimes can be a little bit confusing when you first pull up the gradient tool. Um, it tends to default to black and white, and it can be a little bit disconcerting uh, to get the color going. So I find that it's easier to just uh, pick uh, one of the, the few um, uh, that exist and then modify it and go from there. And I... Uh, this one is a good one, this uh, Jamaican flag looking color band, uh, so I'll click that. And of course my shape is selected and active so that anything I do will be represented and uh, will change automatically. Also my gradient bar right here, um, this can be resized and um, this may be fine for you, but just to point it out, the bottom right hand corner bottom right hand corner I can pull it and um, make it larger and a little bit more easily uh, visible so um, now um, let's uh, uh, briefly go through the basic tools of the the gradient uh, remember you can always go back to the um, uh, one that's already on uh, the YouTube collection for CS3 um, and you'll see um, that much of these first few things we're going to talk about um, is no different here in CS5. CS5, Creative Suite 5, as it's called, with Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign. Um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, the uh, first thing I want to look at are the basics of the gradient uh, tool or the gradient bar as we call it and um, another uh, a quick thing I want to show you before I forget go back here to the swatches uh, you need to get used to this again the way uh, these panels work the lower uh, left hand corner lower left hand corner um, you see a little folder and when you go here um, you see a whole list uh, primarily of color groups, groups of colors that you can open up and utilize. Um, 
and in particular right in the middle of that list is um, it says gradients and when you go there you slide over to another submenu and every single one of these is a whole bunch of gradients already created for you and so this is um, a really nice uh, set of tools somebody's already done the heavy lifting let's say I'm gonna go right here to metal you can pick any one you like, doesn't matter. I'll say metal. And you see it brings up a separate little panel uh, with a group of uh, gradients, uh, linear and circular, or as they call them, radial, already figured. And again, in the lower left-hand corner, there's the Swatch Libraries menu, as they call it. And uh, you've got access to everything. So, um, uh, at any rate, I'll go back over here to the uh, gradient uh, bar, and uh, let's uh, run real quick through the basics. Um, you have underneath the bar what I call the paint buckets. They look like little houses. And when you click on these, you can uh, move them left or right, and of course that affects um, the look of the gradient. Always always on the top side of the bar you've got uh, a little diamond um, that's associated with each pair of little paint buckets and this um, is the point at which one color in this case the orange stops and the green starts so uh, this can be uh, manipulated or slid back and forth to affect how the gradient uh, will look as it um, uh, goes from one color to another. Also, the basic stuff here, um, we want to um, uh, eliminate one of the uh, gradient sliders or the little paint buckets as I call them. Just click, hold your mouse, pull straight down and it disappears. Anywhere along the bottom of the bar uh, where these little guys are, you can click and create a new one and um, then uh, you can um, click on that little paint bucket. I double click and up pops um, our color uh, palette tools and um, you've got either the sliders and the rainbow um, with the little paint palette or you can click right here and pull it up by the swatches. So either way and of course then you can pick a color and um, of course the gradient will change and then um, I'll click off of it off of it anywhere off of it and it uh, goes uh, goes underground and um, as you can see there's your shape the um, couple of other quick little things reminders when you um, create a gradient sometimes you may want to keep it even if you're not sure you need it right now and uh, when you create one you can right up here uh, in the, the little swatch sample from there or from the bottom of the uh, regular tool pa palette you see it's displayed either one you can click and drag and just simply drag it over to the swatches and let go and it will permanently be captured there so that's another uh, neat little feature and um, we also have um, here in the gradients uh, panel um, where you can choose linear or circular or radial as they call it so that's where these tools are Alright, and um, again, up to this point, this is really all no different than the earlier CS3 uh, gradient, but um, I think it was in CS4, um, it did radically change, and here we go into the new stuff. So, um, now I need to go to my gradient tool, which is right here on the right side uh, near the bottom of the toolbox. So, I pick this. And as soon as I picked the gradient tool, um, we had a new little uh, tool pop up on the screen. And you see this little bar running across my shape. And when I move down over it, you see it fattens up a little bit. And, um, and we've got 
some additional tools and uh, let's talk about these. First off, here um, they look slightly different but underneath are the paint buckets. They look uh, essentially the same and just like the others um, from the uh, gradient uh, panel um, we can go here and we can move them left and right we've got the little instead of a diamond it's now a little square above the um, uh, the, the gradient uh, bar to um, alter where one color stops and the other one starts we also um, just like on the the gradient panel um, we can pull them straight down to delete them and we can click anywhere underneath the bar to create or add a new one and once again to change the color just double click on it and immediately um, uh, again we have uh, the uh, little uh, color uh, palette with the sliders and the rainbow or again uh, with the swatches um, we can choose all right now um, also what is new here in CS5 CS5 Illustrator um, is um, a couple of other things notice on this bar itself again um, over on the left over on the left side when I move close to it there's a little black circle notice on the right side when I move to it there's a little black diamond and you uh, have to just get used to these little symbols they're not there for just looks they have an important function functionality uh, in applying and uh, changing your gradient and here's how it works first off the, the little uh, circle on the far left by clicking on that and dragging we can move the gradient around on the shape then um, on the right side uh, with the little black diamond we can click directly on it and change the length the length of the the gradient bar as you can see so we can change the length of it we can go to the left side with the circle and simply move it around and if we go back over to the right side and we just go just off of the little uh, square or triangle notice you see a little circular symbol and that is the rotation tool and so again from here I can click and drag and change the direction and or the angle so we can uh, move the bar around we can change the length of it and we can actually change the angle in which it's applied uh, to the shape and uh, uh, pretty amazing and incredibly powerful and intuitive once you get used to it um, I hope to see this gradient tool in the other Adobe programs uh, very soon um, also then uh, let's switch I'm going back up to the gradient panel and let's switch to the circular uh, uh, radial tool and once again we have a bunch of uh, uh, new little uh, tools to manipulate it and this really is uh, pretty incredible to me um, because of the simplicity and the added functionality that uh, uh, they have put into this so go to the circular radial right up there and once again I'm going to move this out of the way so that we can see it you go to the bar and all the things we already talked about are still here with the little paint buckets and uh, we can change the length of it and we can uh, move it um, its position within the shape just by clicking and dragging but but there are also a couple of other really cool new things notice once again uh, we've got this dotted line circle and at the top and on the left side we've got some little visual uh, tools and here it's um, just with the click and drag of your mouse um, 
pretty amazing. First off, I can change the size at the top. I click and drag, and I can change the shape, the shape of the gradient. Okay. Um, and it, uh, you can infinitely uh, change it to uh, your heart's delight. And um, so that's not only, not only is that new, but then again, go to the left side, the little tool here, and we can quickly make it bigger or smaller once you've created sort of the shape uh, that you want. Okay. And then, um, just like uh, the regular um, gradient tool, once again, um, notice when I move uh, in several places right off of that little top circle, I can then rotate it. And so, um, we can change the shape of it, we can change the placement of it, we can change the overall size of it, and um, uh, it's completely controllable um, with the simple click and drag of these little symbol uh, tools right on the gradient. And it really is something um, quite spectacular. You can do beautiful gradients, for instance, just uh, from a, a single color down to a white highlight, and then put that on a globe and have these beautiful three-dimensional um, uh, looking uh, gradient uh, airbrushed shapes. And um, it's uh, something real special. So anyways, um, that's about it for today. CS5 um, Illustrator, and I um, uh, hope you enjoy this, and look out for some new ones, some other new ones soon to come. Thanks.